life to always be prepared and armed, strong and firm, or if we drop the sword, our lives will come to an end. This despicable act that started on the Sabbath and on a holiday as they crossed the border and then attacked the communities near the border is an immense sin, a sin led not only by a murderous terrorist organization, but led by an axis of evil with the base in Iran, with its metastases acting time and again to undermine us, our spirit, our sovereignty, who we are as a nation, as a state. My brothers and sisters, we are at war, a war for our home, and we shall prevail and win. Our country has always fought from the day it was born on its right to exist, on our right to be a free people in our country. Facing enemies time and again, we show our unbreakable spirit, our resilience. We overcome as lions and we find the power of our spirit come out of the depth of sorrow and bereavement and we launch attacks on the enemy and strike it and we prove to them that we are here for good. It turns on our land, in our country, winning and building more and more flows, floors to replace those who have been collapsed. And we are facing in these upcoming days an extensive war. Such a war does not end overnight. And this kind of war also has psychological features that I would like to emphasize to you. Our enemies are exerting immense psychological efforts through cyber attacks and disseminating fake news and reports and false videos in order to scare us and frighten us. They think that this is going to weaken us, but they are wrong. This is There is an undisputable fact here. This time as well, the state of Israel shall prevail. We have no other choice. My beloved citizens of Israel, my dear citizens, I know how difficult and painful this is, but the Israeli spirit has always prevailed and it shall triumph this time as well. Just a few hours ago, I visited the injured and their families and I saw an all-Israeli strength and generosity of soul. And I have to say, our enemies have made a grave mistake in their assessment of the strength of the Israeli spirit, because even through this piercing pain, we can see this Israeli power in full force. We can see this sense and the spirit of volunteering and mutual care, which we see from every side. And thanks to the support of diaspora Jewry and our friends from all over the world, thanks to this Israeli hidden light, which erupted all at once and proved what an amazing amazing people we have. And thanks uh, to all the emergency and security forces in regular service as well in reserve duty, our amazing and wonderful combatants uh, from throughout the Israeli society that have all come to volunteer and have set aside all disputes and disagreements in executing imaginary acts of heroism and with a tr tremendous bravery they set out to defend our home. I would like to ask all of us, let us please maintain this spirit of heroism and this togetherness. It is our most powerful weapon. Let us show responsibility, responsibility and avoid spreading unbased rumors and videos that serve the enemy's propaganda. Let us all follow meticulously the commands of the Home Front Command and let us remember that that our journey to our triumph will only succeed if we all fight together as one heart beating together. Let us not delude ourselves. We are facing some very difficult times. This is the time to rally up and unite, unite as we face the enemy, act as one strong fist. This is what we must do now. Israeli unity, both among the people and in the Knesset and in an emergency government. I 
would like to ask on behalf of the entire Israeli nation to send our condolences to the bereft families, to strengthen the forces who are out there and the worried families. May we all pray together for those who are wounded in spirit and in body. Let us strengthen and support and assist all our beloved ones who live with such great uncertainty regarding the fate of their loved ones and undergo this excruciating suffering. We are all with them. We stand with them and we will do everything we can in order to bring back their beloved ones home soon. And I would like to end with a prayer for peace and security for us and for all Israelis. Let us strengthen those who defend our holy land and may God bring them salvation and triumph to them and you shall sow peace in the land.